Hi everybody. Today I want to show you a great little program called Send Photos and it's for the iPhone. This little program is only 99 cents and it has a great feature that I think most of us have been waiting for. When you send a photo on the iPhone, it traditionally uh, resizes the image and it sends it out to the person you want from your camera roll or your library. But it always gets resized. You never get the full resolution. Well, Send Photos fixed that problem. With Send Photos, you can actually send the photo at a full resolution or any resolution you choose from. It has different sizes you can pick from. In the next few minutes, I will show you all of that. Uh, remember to visit irmstech.com for the full review on this product. Um, this software actually allows you to choose multiple contacts or a single contact. All you need to do to make it easy for you is actually have a Gmail account. If you already do, then this is great. Just follow the next few minutes, which I'll show you step by step how to configure Send Photos. If you don't, sign up for a Gmail account. It's free and I'll go ahead and show you the next few minutes how to configure that. You do have to make some changes in order to get it to send the photos out but it's easy once you get it done and it's you don't have to reconfigure it or change it or anything like that. It's a great little program and I highly recommend it. I've been using it and I love it because I can send finally full resolution photos to my loved ones and friends. Uh, thank you for watching my videos. I appreciate it and uh, remember visit irmstech.com for all the reviews that I've put and uh, more information and information I might miss in this video on there. Thank you, I appreciate it. Alrighty guys, I'm gonna show you now how to configure send photos to send the full resolution photo from your iPhone. We're first gonna open up the send photos program and when it opens up for the first time you're gonna get a little pop-up stating that you need to configure your SMTP server which is what we're gonna do. Now I highly recommend to get a Google Gmail account because it works flawlessly for me. Uh, you can use any other pop account if you have a Yahoo mail account you can try that too but you, you know with the Google Gmail account it's easy to use you can go head on over to gmail.com and you can get a free account there it's easy to set up and it only takes a few minutes uh, if you already have one then we're ready to go so let's click on Google Mail and it's going to take you to a screen where you need to fill out your settings your name your email account your username your password uh, the SMTP server the port and the SSL if you want to use it or not okay in this case we're gonna leave this SMTP server alone and the SSL setting we're also gonna leave it alone those two you don't touch and then just fill in the blanks and I'm gonna fill that in a second and show you the rest of the settings when you click on uh, like your name to type it in you're gonna see the keyboard pop up and the first part of the section needs to be filled in I already did that here so I'm gonna click done and then at the bottom you, you're gonna have obviously this stuff here what you really need to change in order to get this to work is port 587 right here needs to be changed to port 465 once you do that this will work flawlessly so you definitely need to change the port once you did the port click on done on the top and then click uh, you can actually I'm sorry you can also click at the bottom where it says test so you can run a little test on it and it'll tell you if it actually worked fine so it gives you a message so you got the settings correctly and uh, now you can click on save and now we're ready to send the photo now if you click on the plus sign on the right hand side right here uh, you'll be able to add people from your address book directly and in this case I'm gonna actually just click here and I'm gonna type the uh, name directly you know the email address directly uh, but you also get various options you get carbon copy and blind carbon copy which is nice if you want to send someone uh, an additional copy of the email but definitely you can s select multiple contacts you don't have to actually type one at a time you can just click on the plus sign and add them there I'm gonna go ahead and, and add uh, an email address here and let me set it up here real quick okay so I'm done now I have the email address and then you can also choose a subject. You can type the subject line right here where it says my photos. And you can type it uh, a name, the name of the photo or the little small description that you want. And also you can go down here at the very bottom and you can type a message. Okay, and you can actually add a message to the photo information itself. But in this case, I'm not gonna do that and I'm gonna leave the subject as my photos. I'm gonna leave it alone. So click on where it says add photos, and it'll take you to your library and also the camera roll on top. In this case, I'm going to go ahead and choose the camera roll. One thing I want to mention to you real quick is that if you actually saved on your iPhone photos that are larger 
then that you should be able to send them also as well because it picks up what size the photos are so uh, I'm gonna go ahead and choose right here this picture of a lizard and it shows me the original size of that photo which is 1200 by 1600 and then I have 960 by 1280 I also have um, 768 by 1024 720 by 960 600 by 800 480 by 640 and 240 by 320 so I have a wide selection of sizes that I can choose from uh, when I want to send the photo out but in this case we want to send it out the original size so we we get that we got that ready and now we go to add photo and you're gonna see the screen adding the photo for you once it's completed it should take you back to the main screen where you can send the photos out Okay, once it takes you back to the main screen, you will see here the um, basically the photo name and, and the information. You can add another photo if you want to, uh, but in this case, we're ready to go. So we're going to click on the top on the right where it says send mail to send this photo out. And it will actually be connecting and it will send the photo out. And it will tell you if it's successful by sending the photo and you're done. That's it. So it's easy to configure, it works very well. The one thing I want to mention to you is I've had problems with this program on version 2.21. Uh, and it's actually um, the new version of the iPhone that was just released. I've had several problems uh, with this version uh, from the phone freezing to acting up really weird. So I have to downgrade it back to version 2.2 in order to get this done. Uh, but definitely uh, the program works very well if you see that it's freezing it's not the software itself it's actually happening to me on the newer version of the iPhone but it didn't happen with the 2.2 version on it well that's it I hope you like this video and I hope you like the program I hope you try it I definitely recommend it it's a really nice little program to send full resolution photos uh, one last thing I just wanted to mention was remember you have to have uh, an account with the iTunes um, with Apple and your iTunes and then you can actually purchase the program right from your app store on the iPhone or through the iTunes software. If not, just create an account there. It's easy to do. It just takes a few steps to do it. Uh, but if you already have one, then you're ready to go. Thank you, and I appreciate you watching all of my videos.